Hello, my name is Sophia. I am a graduating senior at Caldwell University. I am graduating with my bachelor's in art and my bachelor's in psychology, and I'm going right into graduate school at Caldwell University for art therapy. So today I will be giving a little tutorial on how to create a mask. Mask making is an art therapy directive or activity that many art therapists use. Um, they can be used with any population, um, any age, any person dealing with whatever life circumstance that might be occurring for them at the time. And even if you're not dealing with something that's on your mind, art therapy can benefit anyone and it's always very nice to see what, you, what comes out of your mind. So what I mean by that is specifically this activity helps a lot with self-expression. So what I mean by that is whatever comes to your mind and you put it onto the mask that helps you visualize what you're seeing or what you're thinking in your head. So what we will be doing is we'll be decorating the outside of the mask and you can think about either um, a strength and then do um, maybe one of your weaknesses on the inside or vice versa or you can um, think about how the world sees you. So this goes a lot, goes very well with the symbolism of a mask. So a lot of times we have a figurative mask that we wear to hide from society. And so the outside is what we show to society and then the inside is what we hide from society. So you can decorate your mask on the outside with how you think the world views you or how you show yourself to the world. And then you can decorate the inside with how you view yourself or what you wanna keep away from the world or what you might hide from society. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the camera view and you'll see my table and I'll have a little setup of different art supplies. And I'll just give you a little tutorial of what I use to create my mask and then you can replicate it wherever you are at your home. You can do this with some friends. And of course, if you're at an art therapy, um, either a session one-on-one, -on -one, or this is something that art therapists can do as well in group therapy. Um, but don't feel like you can't explore and self-express at your own home. So I'm here at my desk. It is covered in plaster because this is my designated art table. And as you can see, I'm wearing my designated art shirt. So I would recommend wearing clothing you might not care about and definitely working on a surface. Either cover it with newspaper or some paper. Just make sure you are being cautious of that. Um, art therapy can benefit many people experiencing mental health issues. So things such as PTSD, depression, anxiety, if you deal with any of these issues, art therapy can be very beneficial in helping you understand what you might be, or help you um, take what you think in your head, the emotions, the feelings, and put it onto a surface. Sometimes it's hard for you to like verbally get those feelings and emotions out. And when you self-express through art, it can be helpful. So when creating your mask, you can use whatever materials that you feel most comfortable using. So if you do not like using paint because you don't like getting messy or you just don't like the way it is or it smells, then don't use paint. You can use um, stickers, you can use paper, um, collage materials basically is a really um, the go-to uh, with creating masks because you can like cut and paste things, you can cut out words and put it on your mask. Um, so today I have laid out, I have some uh, construction paper, you can either draw a little piece of, like a little drawing, so if you want to draw sun and then cut it out and put it on your uh, mask, that's something you could do, or you can just use the color and like cut out uh, random shapes and paste it onto your mask. You can use things like newspapers and you can cut out the words that you see or maybe you want to cut out the foods that you see on your newspapers. Like this is one from the grocery store so it has all the different foods. You can easily cut out little foods so maybe you like to show the world uh, that your favorite food 
is a uh, chocolate and you find a little clipping of chocolate and you could paste it onto your mask or even they have like some pictures of flowers you can put those on your mask because maybe you, that means something to you um, and you also have things like magazines so I have some just random magazines that I've gotten from the store and you can take little pieces of paper or rip out some of the the magazine and you can cut out some of the words so for instance um, this headline says it had been a hectic week for Lizzo it's an article about Lizzo so maybe I want to cut out the word hectic and put it on the inside of my mask or even your outside of your mask um, I might do that because I think uh, what I don't want to show to society is how hectic um, I feel so that's an idea and then you can also have like I've just collected these are things that you just get at, like your local craft store so some stickers this is like paper pad um, and some Dr. Seuss stickers which are kind of fun and silly um, and then you can also get like those little letter stickers which are fun maybe you want to spell something out or put your initials on your art um, and then as well, you can paint, of course, and you can do a lot with painting. You can color it one color, you can color spots different colors. Um, maybe you wanna, uh, maybe you felt like very silenced from the world and you wanna paint just the lips to symbolize like feeling silent. Um, that's always something you could do. And you can also take glitter if you want to get a little messy and, it, and explore with some glitter. You can get, do that and you can take some Maj Podge. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like a glue and like a sealer. So you would uh, take a paintbrush and you paint the Maj Podge on it and then you can sprinkle your glitter onto your Maj Podge and it'll stick. Um, and then, yeah, you can really use whatever collage materials if you don't have lots of things like this a newspaper tissue paper uh, construction paper like I showed you you can even go outside and get some leaves and glue leaves to your mask feathers if you find any of those um, you can get very creative with okay so I went ahead and got right into it and I cut out the word hectic from a newspaper clipping that I showed you earlier and I think I'm gonna take this and glue it into the inside of my mask and I like to flip back and forth but if you want to create the outside first maybe wait a day an hour or a few minutes whatever and then do the inside or vice versa you can do that there's not a right or wrong way of how to create your mask. Okay, I switched the perspective so you can see me do this a little better. All right, so you can take your Maj Podge and you just wet, you just need a little bit and you can wet a little spot. So I'm deciding to put mine there and then you take your little clipping, you can place it down and then paint right over it with that Mod Podge. There you go. Okay, next I want to create um, a little bit more of what the word hectic looks like in my head. So to me, I see a lot of black and dark. So I'm gonna take this black construction paper and I'm simply gonna rip it. You can be more constructive and use a pair of scissors if you like, or you can like draw a shape that you want and cut that out. But personally, I just want some rough looking edges, so I'm just going to go ahead and
All right, and this is the final product. Um, I actually got lost in the process and did the entire inside before the outside of my mask. Um, sometimes you'll hear art therapists refer to being lost in the process or allowing the process to take over. And what we mean by that is basically what I just did. And I just got so in the zone of my art that I did the entire inside before touching the outside. And there's no right or wrong way of doing that. I just initially expected myself to go back and forth, back and forth. And I ended up not doing that because I just got into the zone. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the outside um, just to give you a little bit of a um, work you through my thoughts on what I'm going to do with the outside. Sometimes when you hear another person's thought process with creating art, it can help you and give you ideas. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that to maybe help you guys. So my inside ended up being very hectic. Um, I have a lot of words, lots of darkness. So on the outside, because this is what I show to society, I want this to be more positive. So I'm thinking of like some clippings, like this iridescent's really fun and positive. Maybe some clippings from here, like the florals are really positive. Even my funny Dr. Seuss stickers, those are kind of childish, which um, that can be uh, very fun to me. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go jump right into it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and paint a little bit on my mask to show you guys what it's like to paint on it. Um, I'm just using some craft paint, um, acrylic paint. I would recommend acrylic or tempera. I'm not sure how good watercolor would work on this type of material. So yeah, I would recommend acrylic or tempera craft paint or any kind of paint that you can get your hands on. Um, the, a lot of stores, like art stores, sell something called palette paper. This is like disposable, so it's not as messy. Or you can simply use something like a uh, newspaper and you can go ahead and put a little paint and get a paintbrush. I just want a small one. I'm not painting too much of it. And I'm just going to go right into it. I want this area to be yellow because, again, I want my outside of my mask to be more positive. All right, next I want to play around with some glitter. This is not something you have to do, but for me, the what I want to show the outside world is my positive, bright, sparkly self. So to me, I think of glitter. So I have some gold glitter. Um, you can use whatever. I have a bunch of different colors, just things that I've gotten from the stores over the years. So go ahead and dip your brush into the Maj Podge. And I think I want my glitter around here, around the eye. So I did just paint this and I only let it dry a little bit. If you can go ahead and mix it around see this has paint on it it's totally fine it will still come out and make sure you have I laid out some newspaper so the falling out glitter has a place to go where I can easily clean it up and you can do this more controlling if you want or more sporadic so say you want like a triangle your shape, draw, draw a triangle with the glue, and then when you use the glitter, you should get a triangle. Not perfect, but pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and this is the final product of my outside. I made it very bright and what I felt was beautiful. 
in my eyes because I want this is what I want the world to see me like I don't want them to see me in my as I view myself when I I'm alone which is hectic and dark um, I'd rather show myself like this very positive and um, just to give you like why I use these things um, I was showing you how to use the glitter but I made I framed out the eyes and the glitter is just something very shiny and bright and I felt like the pearls were something to me that felt uh, very put together. Um, I think I just associate pearls with being very professional and put together. And that's quite the opposite of being hectic. So I wanted this side to feel more put together. Um, so I put like a little floral flower piece on the mouth because I want to speak positively. I felt like flowers were symbolic to me as something like positive and beautiful so I want to speak kind words and positively to others. This uh, little clipping um, was like a bunch of little people having fun together so that reminded me of like my friends and how I want to uh, I want my friends to act around me so I want to be positive around my friends so then we can have a good time like that. And then I have a little person going up a ladder to go along with like the put together. Um, I often show myself as very put together regarding like my academics. When on the inside, I feel very much like this. But on the outside, I might look like I'm climbing a ladder and I'm succeeding. And I just put a lot of like floral elements again to speak with the like going along with like speaking kind words and beauty, beautiful words. I want to thank them as well so I put those like floral elements on the top of the head because not only do I want to speak kind and beautiful words but I want to thank them and I put some hearts to think of like again like kind loving words and then these little stickers are from my Dr. Seuss stickers um, and they say like well done good work and those are just encouraging words that make me feel very put together so this side is very put together, positive me, and this is more chaotic, not so put together me, and that's okay. I'm just showing both sides of me, but I might show this side to the outside world and hide this side to the outside world. All right, and this is my final project inside outside I wanted to say this took about maybe 30 45 minutes um, it could take you longer it could take you shorter just depends on what you do with it for me I painted I was uh, using Maj Paj so those are things that take time to dry so the process might be a little longer but you know there's no rush to creating art but for me my anxiety makes me feel hectic makes words feel jumbled up and so I took those thoughts and feelings and I thought, hmm, how can I put that into an art piece? So I thought jumbled up words, chaos, and I took pieces of newspaper font or print. And I found the word hectic by luck um, in the newspaper clip clippings. And I thought, that's how I feel. I feel like my anxiety is hectic. So. Um, it can be as simple as that, as finding uh, a word or a color or a shape, a symbol, and associating it with a feeling or an emotion. I want to be a little open with you guys and say that this was a little easy, easier on me to create just because this isn't my first time creating a mask, let alone doing art therapy, but you will get used to it. You'll start to see how fun it could be enjoy it have fun with it um, and i really hope you start seeing how expressive you really can be i just want to thank you guys again for watching my video and i hope you learned something i hope seeing the art be created was a nice model for you gave you some ideas to brainstorm and create your own mask and also you it, it's helpful to watch someone do it because it gives you the confidence that you could do it too